a lot of Twitter. Thank the I got a lot of Twitter followers. I'm live now. All right, it says 12 minutes really in length. Does everyone got me out there? Okay, we got a lot of stuff to cover today. Again, this is uh, Jonathan Smith telling it all. If you don't like me, hang up. You don't have to listen to me. Okay, so. Let's cover. Uh, I'd like to see all the views again. I'm glad we have a lot of people calling in again. I'm glad to see that. It's a great thing to see all the people calling in. And uh, let's see, I'm bringing up the internet board to see how many people are chatting in. And uh, so then I'll cover my agendas for this week. Let's see. Okay, we got a couple of people. Wow, well, a couple of people text in, a couple of people on from Facebook, a couple of people on from the phone calls. Let's get to the agenda today. Let's go back to Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. A lot of people don't like my poking comments anymore. Well, you know what? Drop dead. Die. Drop off the cliff. I don't care what you do. This is my show. You don't have to listen. Okay? And as I'm talking, you feel free to Twitter me anytime you want. You could Twitter me now at twitter.com slash telling it all, JS. And feel free to Twitter in. Send me a message, and I would love to read it on the air and answer it. Or else you could even get me on Facebook if you want, why I'm doing the show. Again, if I'm on Facebook, you can find me there too. You can send me a message and get yourself on the air. So, just want to announce all that stuff now. Let's see what's on my agenda today. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got, here we go. I love this. You know, uh, recently I became single, as a lot of people send me emails, texts, and uh yeah, I became single. I found out from it on Facebook. It was kind of funny. She broke up with me over Facebook. So I had to change to single, and I knew I was single, so I changed mine to single. That's the way the mentality of these people are these days. And, uh, you know, it's my right to say it, so I'm saying it. Uh, and, you know, I want to cover is, uh, you know, these girls out there. I was out there before. I was looking at some girl. She had a high skirt on, and, uh, you know, a low cut shirt. She looked like a hooker, so I thought, you know, I'll buy her a drink and take her home. You know, she turned around and said to me, You know, I'm not a hooker. Well, if you look like one, dress like one, and you talk like one, guess what? You are a hooker. So, uh, all you girls out there, watch how you dress, watch how you talk, because if you look like a hooker, you are a hooker. All right? And now I'm covering that one. Uh, someone said, uh, blah, blah, blah. Calling us dogs. Oh, yeah, I love this one. I love it how girls call men dogs. Ruff, ruff. What dogs? It's kind of funny because I don't get to lay on the couch on the floor all day. You know, most dogs get to lay on the couch all day. All you women want is us to go to work and do things for you. Then, how could you call us a dog? I don't see a dog taking us. It's not in the phone buzzing and your electric bill, do you? Do you see any floor on your feet? All right, I'm sorry about that. We're in a new studio today, actually in Newark, New Jersey, and we're having some technical difficulty keeping the single going. But again, let's get back to the dogs. The girls calling your men dog. If we're a dog, let me sit on the couch all day, feed me. Let me go out with that and walk around and enjoy my life. If you're going to keep calling me a dog, treat me like a dog, all right? Let me lay down all day and let you go out and make some fucking money and do some shit, all right? Again, most of you girls are so freaking stupid. You girls sit on the TV and watch the couch. You know, you're supposed to be the other way around. Sit on the couch and watch the TV. But, again, this is Jonathan Smith or Stuttering John telling it all. If you don't like it, drop dead. I don't need you. You need me. Don't listen. Go out. It's a Thursday night. Thursday night at 10 o'clock. Well, what are we doing tonight? I really thought I would have a couple more questions coming in, but... uh. Yeah, I got another one. What happened to your Facebook page? <laughs> what happened to my Facebook page? Uh, no, I guess Facebook doesn't like to comment all day long about me, me giving uh, them uh, how bad the people are on Facebook and the dogs, and they should go back to MySpace or change it to Facebook. 
Plus, if I'm poking this girl, I better be poking her in the ass and not the face. But anyway, Facebook, yeah, I started a new Facebook page uh, just for this group because I actually was getting too many friends and it was too much action. So they shut it down and we broke it up. So my radio show now has its own page. So what are we doing about breakups on Facebook? It's like the common thing. I see so many people on there, they're single, they're not single, they're single. Then when I changed mine to single, it was like a fucking like mass exiting of, uh, you know, people coming out of the woodwork. They were, like, running out of Facebook onto my phone. They were like, oh, I see you're single. I see you're single. Calm down, people. Just because I'm single don't mean I'm, I'm, I'm taking a dog out of a pound, okay? Cause, uh, just because I'm single don't mean I'm doing dogs. And if you want to call me a dog, guess what? It's okay. Feed me and walk me all day and give me a bath, okay? Put me in the bathtub and take a sponge and scrub me. Well, my balls like you would to to a dog, okay? Anyway, if I'm a, if I'm a dog, I'm a dog. But that's what you want to call me. Treat me like one. And you girls shouldn't be calling anyone dogs. It's the way you girls dress. You're like huckers, you should be treated like huckers, you know? Most of you girls are old enough to stay home and take care of your kids instead of going out getting drunk and dressing like huckers. But that's what you want to do. That's what you do. So, again, this is Jonathan Smith telling it all. If you don't like it, get off the phone. Hang up. Go out. It's Thursday night. Kind of wait. Go to the city. You know, I'm in Newark right now. I'll be going right across to the city soon anyway. So, uh, again, dogs. Ruff, ruff. I'm a dog. Feel free to call me a dog. Come on. Somebody twit in. Twit in. Uh, do you have any good blonde jokes this week, too? Uh, you know, it's hard to keep coming up with blonde jokes because, uh, you know, what do you do with a blonde so much? You know? Okay. How about this? When does the blonde have two brain cells when she's pregnant? One brain, brain cell for home, one for the kid. Next thing is a uh, blonde. Has blonde think of think safe sexes. It's when she locks the car door. Now, why did this blonde have a problem passing her driving test? Because every time the instructor opened up the door and told her to get in, she jumped into the back seat and pulled off her pants. How do you like that? That's my opinion of it. Uh, we got someone calling in. I'm going to just say hi and see who they are. All right, I see someone's calling in. Do you want to speak online? I'm standing right behind you. You're standing right behind me. Well, well, well then if you are, I hope you're a girl. Are uh, you a guy? Pull your pants down and call me Bubba. Ah, uh, see, this is one of, the, one of the listeners that I love. You know what? Drink some punch and die, buddy. I love it. I'm getting a lot of these listeners now and getting good. Plus, they're all mental cases out here. Let's see if someone else is going to call on. Just to know, I didn't hang up on that one. I hope he calls back again because I actually, I would love to put him back on the air because it's better than these girls from Staten Island. You know, they also be home taking care of kids. They're probably getting ready to go to the show. So, go on, baby. Someone pick up the phone and call me because I'm waiting for some more calls. All right, I got another split coming in. What's up? That yeah, next week should be a great show. Thank you. I guess someone mentioned this. Yes, we're gonna have a, a psychic on here live doing live readings. If you want, he's the psychic from Facebook. He's been doing uh, live readings over Facebook for free for about a year now. And I got him on my show. So again, I'm glad that happened. So who's next? Who's next? Let's read the next tweet. Are you single? Yes, I am single as of today and as of my radio show. So, you know what? I, I think I'm going to be like uh, Howard Stern and start the, uh, the Butterface thing and, uh, you know, kind of say, hey, let's get all pretty girls on my show. So, anyway, yeah, I'm single. Let's get them on. Oh, oh you look, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is not a dating service show. But anyway, once again, I'd like to thank all my viewers. Listeners and viewers, feel free to tweet your questions in, and I'll definitely read them on the air. Email them to me, Facebook to me, and to that mentally challenged person that keeps calling in and say he's behind me. Good luck. Happy you're behind me, buddy. Because if you're behind me, kiss my ass, all right? Wait for me a fart and smell it, okay? Smell the roses, all right? You mental case people, mentally challenged. This is another one that probably sits on the TV and watches the couch all day. And I'm glad it figures it was from a Jersey phone number, too. Oh, boy, we got the Jersey recalls on here today. But anyway, love you all. And uh, 
I really have two minutes there, but you know, I really don't have too many jokes today because uh, you know, the biggest joke is do girls on Facebook. Get off Facebook and take care of your kids. Go clean the house. Go do something. Stop acting like hookers because most of you are hookers. You know, most of you are waiting for the BBD, big and better deal. When your husband go to work, you're screwing another guy on his couch. Get up. Get a job. If you're calling us dogs, support us. Feed us all day. So, again, yeah, I hope someone else calls in today because I hope there's another guy saying he's behind me because if he's behind me, he sounds so sexy, buddy. Yeah. You know what? He's dying. Let's see. I just got another text in here. Let's see what it says. It says. Is he, yes, yes, again, once again, yes, the next show is going to be a great show. He is going to be doing live readings on the air. So if you want to call in, you could. It will be live. And uh, uh, that's the way it goes. Sorry about the technical challenges we had this week. But, again, I leave you off with this. Why are the two things up in the air? What will get a blonde, a blonde pregnant? Her feet. What is, what is a blonde definition of safe sex? Lock in the car door. How did the blonde... How did the blonde burn her lips? She tried to blow up her boyfriend's car. <laughs> Why did the blonde have lipstick on her steering wheel? Because she tried to blow the horn. Okay. Why is the toilet different than a blonde? Because after you use the toilet, it doesn't follow you around for a day. How do you like that? Okay, that's enough blonde jokes for today. And, uh, you know, basically, I love all you people out there. Glad to keep sending in stamps. And they tweet, but I'm going to leave you with my favorite song again, okay? Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out at Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the narrow. But I'll be hood forever. I'm the new Sinatra. And since I made it here, I can make it anywhere. Get it.